Good morning, everyone. It's the Money Professor, and finally, I have my debit cards for Stash and for Acorn. I will be going into depth a little bit more as the months come on when I realize what the real pros and cons of them are, but so far, I mean, it looks like it's pretty much a basic debit card. Um... You know, has actually a pretty nice design. The numbers, your account and routing numbers and expiration and everything are actually, um, well, your debit card number is on the back. That's the way it's designed. And um, also, on it's the same exact design where the numbers are on the back for the acorn spin as well um i'm not sure really how they're going to do it but i have a founders card i'm not exactly sure if the founders card is uh something that is just pretty much just for a limited time for certain specific people that get in at a certain time but I know some of my group and some of the people that I deal with actually got their Stash Founders cards as well. But they got in early. This process actually took a very long time because it was supposed to come out in, I would guess, in fall. But, I mean, it's obviously wintertime and my card literally just came. Um, but as the time goes on, um, I will go into depth. I, I will say this. Um, just recently, I uh, set up my stash uh, cash back, and I was pleasantly surprised to see some money in my account when I actually went to a, one of my actually one of my favorite uh, breakfast places, um, Amy's, and um, got some cash back. So I think that's a heavy advantage for people that if you if you go to a place to eat or buy clothes or everything, I mean, that's a big advantage to just go there anyway because you get cash back. So it's almost like you're uh, investing in yourself a little bit. So with that being said, I'm very excited about things to come with these uh, stock apps. They're doing a lot of different things. All Almost all of them are all doing the same thing with cash, well, um, with, um, cash backs. Having debit cards, um, investing, they're all pretty much kind of doing the same thing now. Even Robinhood now has a uh, has a platform at first where they were going to do three percent um, a three percent interest on uh, in your bank account, but I think they changed that now. But as the month, the time, the months come, I guess we'll figure out exactly what's going to happen where that is concerned. But I definitely recommend everybody get, even if you use it as an emergency account or anything else, there are some advantages to having it, um, to having a second or third debit card just in case, putting a little money to the side, five, ten, or fifteen dollars to the side. Trust me, it adds up, and you can use it for all sorts of things. Um, like I said, one of my favorite things is cash back, um, which I'm starting to use a lot more. Um, looking around for places, they, it actually has a map for you, a GPS, and it tells you which places have cash back um, advantages. So with that being said, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm excited, and we'll be going more deeper into this with the debit cards. Like I said, the Robinhood debit card is also coming soon too. So just subscribe to me, like I said, Money Professor, and uh, we're going to talk about a lot of things. There's a lot of other things happening, too, besides on the stock apps. A lot of things happen on the crowdfunding aspect, too, as well. Cryptocurrency is starting to make, make a rise again. It's a lot. So with that being said, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk with you guys later.